How's it going y'all? It's Ben Aqua and I have a three monitor setup with the Mac Mini M1. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about these monitors a little bit, how I set it up with the Mac Mini M1. So let's get into it. And all of these monitors are working on the Mac Mini M1 8 gigabyte model. I have a 16 gigabyte RAM version of the Mac Mini on the way, and I'm gonna be returning the 8 gigabyte Mac Mini M1. If you're interested in knowing why I went for 16 gigabytes versus 8 gigabytes, I made several other videos about all these issues that I've been having with the 8 gigabyte version. So be sure to check those videos out in the links in the description. So on the left over here, we have the Philips Brilliance 27 inch 4K monitor. Really awesome and underrated monitor. And I got this for only $270 used on Amazon. And I'll leave links to everything in the description below, by the way, so you can check that out, support my channel. But the better monitor, I think, is actually the LG 27 inch monitor. This is the LG 27 UK 850-W. And then down here for monitor number three is the iPad Pro 11 inch from 2018. This thing is still amazing in 2021, and I'm using this via sidecar on the Mac Mini M1. And my keyboard, which is the Logitech K380, some of y'all really do not like the design of this in the comments, but you know what? I think it's actually pretty cute, and I like that I can switch between three different devices. And then for my trackpad, I have the Magic Trackpad 2 over here. I'm using these devices wirelessly with my Mac Mini M1. They both work really well, minus some random dropouts and stuff using Bluetooth, but for the most part, they work really, really well with the Mac Mini M1. So you may be wondering where is the Mac Mini M1 because it's not on the desk. So I actually keep it under my desk. You can see it back there in the corner. It's on a simple under the desk mount. You can also use this type of mount to mount it to the back of one of your monitors if you want. On the Apple website, the iPad mini is only rated to use one monitor at a time, one external monitor. But as you can see here, I'm definitely using more than one monitor and it's totally working fine. I really like the idea of having just one monitor and then maybe my iPad as a second monitor using sidecar if I needed just a little more screen real estate. But this is more just kind of an experimental video for people if you're thinking about using three monitors. So the LG monitor is on this Elitab monitor stand over here, and I have it mounted via the VESA mount in the back. And this LG monitor is connected just using this USB-C input, and this goes all the way down the monitor stand into the Mac Mini M1's USB-C port. And then for the second monitor, which is the Philips Brilliance 27 inch monitor, it's a little hard to see, but there's an HDMI cable going in to that monitor. And that goes all the way down also into the back of the Mac Mini M1 right here. And then the iPad Pro is being used wirelessly via Sidecar in Mac OS. Sidecar is an awesome built-in feature in Mac OS where you can use an iPad as an external display. So that's how I'm able to get this iPad as a third display. So let's open up some apps and stuff on these monitors and you can see just how cool it is to have a three monitor setup. So for example, let's say we wanted to move Safari over here on the left monitor. So let's just open up a random video here. So I have YouTube going on over here on the left monitor and let's open up Lightroom. So let's say you wanted like a YouTube video to be playing on the left over here and then you wanted to also edit photos using Lightroom on the right monitor. And then you can open up another app such as, you know, App Store or something, and you can drag that into this third window. So now we have Lightroom over here. We have YouTube over here. We have the App Store over here. And it's just a really cool way to expand your Mac mini setup beyond just having one monitor. Another thing I like to do on the tiny screen, the iPad Pro, is I usually have music playing in the background at all times, basically, while I'm working and stuff. So I can move Apple Music down here on the third screen and I'm just gonna play something. And you can do something like this where you can go to that mini player mode and then full screen it. And then you have a full screen version with lyrics of Apple Music on the iPad Pro down there. And then you also have a YouTube video going on here. And then you have Lightroom over here. Having some extra screen real estate can be super helpful. And because the Mac Mini M1 is so freaking powerful, even the eight gigabyte version that I'm using right now, you can easily take one window and throw it around. There is a little bit of lag, as you can see, when you're moving the 
Lightroom window from screen to screen. But even while I'm running Apple Music down here and then YouTube over here in Safari, but on this third screen, I'm able to open up a photo and edit it in Lightroom. And as you can see, the Philips monitor is on the included stand that it came with, which is not my favorite stand in the world. It's kind of big and bulky. So a more ideal setup would be a double monitor arm similar to the one that the LG monitor is using. There's double monitor arms like that. So it'll attach to the back of the desk and then two monitors will be on one stand that would kind of branch off two ways and then you would get more desk space. You wouldn't have this kind of big bulky stand on there. But in this video, I'm more just demonstrating that you can use two monitors easily with the Mac Mini M1. And then you can also have a third monitor, the iPad Pro. So the question of the day is what monitor setup do you have with your Mac Mini M1 or MacBook Pro, MacBook Air M1, or just any device? Let me know in the comments. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel and smash that thumbs up. Have an awesome and creative day and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.